first tape. What y'all talking about, chat? I got this by Jeremiah Hawkins? No way. I'm about to look it up real quick. Ain't no way I got this by Jeremiah Hawkins. That man is a legend. Let's react to it on stream to see if this is true or not. I think y'all lying. Welcome to First Take. I'm joined alongside my partner, Stephen K. Smith. I'm Reezy Reason, and today we have a lot to talk about. But let's get straight into it. For the past three seasons, Jeremiah Hawkins, the middle linebacker for the Detroit Lions, has been the unquestionable number one defensive player in football. And he won the last two Defensive that. Player of the Year awards. But if you watch his film, watch him on game days, it's clear to see that his impact goes way beyond an award. He can do it all on the football field. He can lock down wide receivers. He can play great zone coverage. He can rush the passer. He's great at stopping the run. He's an all-around athlete playing the linebacker position. But the question of the day is, is he still the best defensive player in football? The Lions defense is arguably the best defense in football, but Hawkins makes an impact every single week, every single time he's on the field. Coming into this season, he was favored to win the Defensive Player of the Year award, but so far, he's not leading in the favorites because star rookie Vontae Austin has been the favorite so far this year, and he's definitely been the best defensive player of the year Thanks so for the far rap in football. Boys, eh? Eight and a half the sacks already through four weeks of the season, and he's a defensive tackle. Extreme extremely skilled physical presence this guy can do it all he was the number one overall pick in the draft for a reason he's 6'5 275 pounds and he makes offense alignments life hell every single Sunday so Stephen K my question to you who's the better defensive player Vontae Austin or Jeremiah Hawkins and I know they play two different positions but the impact is similar on a week-to-week -week, game to game basis now Reezy I know this might be blasphemous but I'm going with Vontae Austin. Appreciate simply that. Simply because of the fact that he is more dominant, in my opinion. And on top of that, Jeremiah Hawkins didn't look like this as a rookie. Like, let's be honest. We all thought Jeremiah Hawkins was a bust. But he got some good coaching. Detroit started doing their thing. And now he's the best defensive player in the league. But for my money, I got Vontae Austin. Don't care if he's a rookie. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, Stephen K. You kind of wild for that, my boy. Now, I know Vontae Austin is doing an amazing job so far this year, but Jeremiah Hawkins has two Defensive Player of the Year awards. This guy gets sacks and interceptions. He's led the league in sacks and interceptions in the same season. Like, twice. Come on, now. Where's the diss? Was y'all capping to me, man? Y'all said Twitter? Who's Twitter? Jeremiah's Twitter? Search him right now, chat. Man, this ain't even bad. He was just defending his name. But I will say, Jeremiah, and I was trying to be humble about this when I first heard about it, don't think that it's just that big of a difference. You are the big dog. You won two defensive player of the year awards, but I'm coming for you, and I'm that boy. Best believe that. I'm Vontae Austin. It's the reason why I went number one. Welcome to FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, where we have the Tennessee Titans facing off against the Washington Commanders. Both of these teams are 1-3 at the moment, which is actually surprising considering that the Commanders went to the Super Bowl last year. But it's not surprising for the Tennessee Titans considering that they had the number one overall pick last year. But I'm expecting a good matchup. Both of these teams are pretty much holding on for dear life, trying to make a statement win. Here is our beautiful sideline reporter, Aria Miller. Aria, you got a chance to talk with both coaching staff before the game. What did they tell you? 
The commanders are facing an excellent pass defense, and their coaches told me that it's imperative that they get off to a strong start in the passing game. They also told me that Vontae Austin is their number one priority for the offense. Every single play, every single down, they need to know where number 97 is and have a plan for him. I also tried talking to the Titans coaching staff before the game, but they just looked at me, ignored me, and kept on walking, which actually hurt my feelings. Well, that's very asshole-like of them, I'm not going to lie. Well, the game starts first. Vontae Austin's lined up at the three technique. Dom look coming from the Titans. He wins on his man immediately, gets pressure, forces the quarterback to get rid of the ball way earlier than he wanted to. Uh, wins immediately, quick hands. Quarterback gets scared and is dumped in the dirt. Third down and three. Can the Titans get off the field? Vontae Austin wins on his man, gets clamped up by the running back, and the quarterback finds his man, Mike Allen, down the middle of the field. It's first down and 10. Washington has the ball in the Titans' territory. Vontae wins on his man, gets pressure, but not fast enough. Another first down conversion for the commanders. Second down and 10. Vontae shares the block right here, ends up making a play on the other side of the field at the line of scrimmage. Very impressive right here by Austin. Great showcase of change of direction ability. He beat the block, planted his left foot in the ground, got down the line, and then made the play. That's textbook right there. Now it's third down and 10. Empty backfield. Vontae gets pressure, but the coverage is terrible on the back end, and it's another first down conversion. That should have been Vontae's first sack of the game. First and 10. They would send the tight end in motion. Vontae gets blown off of the line of scrimmage. Taylor walks into the end zone. And that was an embarrassing rep right there by Vontae Austin. Did not look like the best defensive player in the league. Second down and seven. Another chance for him to redeem himself. He splits the double team and then gets the quarterback down on the ground for a one-yard gain. What unbelievable strength by 97. Just split the double team like it was nothing. Straight brute strength. Quarterback had nowhere to go. And remind you guys, he's only a rookie. Something special. Third down and six. Vontae shares the block. Quarterback finds another man wide open. The secondary for the Titans is god awful. They need some help in the draft. Now, I know Vontae probably didn't win as fast as he wanted to, but I think he got there fast enough for the secondary to hold on for just a second on third down. Now it's third down and one. Another chance to get off the field. Vontae with the bull rush. They got pressure on him, but he finds his man Garcia for a three-yard reception. Jeremy Clark is balling out in this game. Vontae getting clamped up. Clark decides to throw it in the double coverage and is picked off. First turnover of the game committed by the Washington Commanders, and that was just a dumb decision. But that would be the end of the first quarter. The Tennessee Titans are trailing 7-0 to the Washington Commanders. Titans losing 7-zip. Washington has the ball. First down and 10. Dime package out here for the Titans. Vontae puts him right on his back. Option play, nowhere to go. The Titans are all over that. Swarm into the football. That's great team defense. First and 10. Vontae wins on his man immediately. Gets blocked up by the second man. That gives the quarterback enough time to find an open man. First and 10. Vontae puts him on his back. Slows down the running back, Donald Taylor. He only gets one yard on the play. Great job right there by Vontae Austin to just blowing up the play. Like I said, it's not always on the stat sheet, but he does. Vontae getting double teamed, trying to find some space. Quarterback throws it to Phillips. Phillips breaks the tackle. Gets close to the sticks. It's third down and one. Where they ended up converting. Got further down the field. Now it's second and inches at the goal line. And they will walk in for a touchdown. But luckily for the Titans, their offense responded. Now the score is still 14-7. Screen pass. Vontae reads it immediately. Tries to go for the interception. But he ends up getting the TFL. And that would pretty much be the end of the first half. The Washington Commanders are up 14-7 over the Tennessee Titans. Halftime is brought to you by the Reason Sports Universe. If you want to see yourself featured in some of these videos on my channel, then watch this video right here. You can be a character in the Reason Sports Network Universe. We make content for high school, college, and the pros. You can submit a form. The link will be in the description. However, if you sign up with Patreon, you'll have a lot more customization and control over your character. The link will be in the description. You can also view your player's season and career stats online. The link will be in the description. I also added a social media feature for the universe to be more immersive. The link to that video will also be in the description.
if you don't have patreon but you still want to be featured on the channel more then make sure you're active in the comment section you being consistently active reminds me to put you on the channel in some way when you submit a form your character will be put in the universe you can see yourself in a live stream or video when teams play but it's highly unlikely that you'll see me controlling your player throughout a game if you don't have patreon Signing up with Patreon gives you control over attributes, accessories, gives you a GTA face, control over your backstory, and you'll be one of the best players in the universe. If you're new to this channel, anybody that has a period next to their name means that they are a subscriber to the channel, and anyone that has an apostrophe next to their name means that they are a Patreon member. But this has been a very good battle. Two bad teams in the NFL, two one and three teams, they're really fighting on for their playoff hopes. Cause you know, if you go one and four, that's pretty much wraps for the season. But they can turn this to two and three, they can maybe get to three and three. It adds a little bit more hope for this game, which is why it's so intense. The intensity's all the way up there. Vontae Austin has been doing a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but they've been getting the ball out quick. Now, Aria, you tried to talk to the Titans coaching staff earlier and they ignored you. This time, we said don't even worry about the commander's coaching staff. Hunt down the Titans coaching staff and get an answer to your question that you had. Well, I tried talking to the Titans coaching staff once again. They looked at me again and they ignored me again, which actually made me angry this time. Well, they can ignore you all they want. They'll be getting fined this week for sure. But let's get on with the second half. It's first down and 10, 240 left to go in the third quarter. Washington is deep in the Tennessee territory. Vontae disengages his man on the run play, ends up running him down the line. Donald Taylor only gets one yard on the play. Remember, Donald Taylor was a first round pick out of Akron, very talented running back. After getting the TFL on second down, it's third down and 13. Vontae gets pressure on the quarterback, dumps it off to Taylor, but he's short of the sticks, forcing him to go for three right here. Now the score 17-7, 20 seconds left to go in the third. Vontae Austin with a bull rush, quarterback finds a wide open guy Phillips down the middle with a field. Five seconds left to go in the third. Vontae Austin puts him right on his back, but it doesn't matter as Donald Taylor gets close to the first down marker on the draw. And that'll be the end of the third quarter. The Washington Commanders are winning 17-7 in full control of this matchup. Pivotal drive right here by the Titans defense. Start of the fourth quarter, second down and inches. Vontae wins immediately, gets pressure on Clark, but he dumps it to a wide open Jefferson, who gets face masked at the end of the play as well. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Right now, it's looking real ugly for the Titans defense. 4.45 left to go in the fourth. Vontae shares the block, getting pressure. Clark is just going to have to throw it away. Good coverage right there on the back end. Something that I haven't said a lot throughout this game. Second down and 10. 17-10. Vontae beats his man once again. Clark dumps it off to Allen because of the terrible coverage. It's first down and goal Washington. And they can pretty much put a nail in the coffin right here. First down and goal. Vontae ends up getting cut. Taylor walks into the end zone basically untouched. And Washington has dominated this game. They're up 24-14. It's three minutes left. Titans, they really need a miracle if they want to win this game. They're going to need to get a stop and expect a touchdown by their terrible offense. But it's third down and 10. This is their chance for a stop right here. Washington's pretty much going to just run the clock down until it gets to about probably like one second left. Third down and 10. Here's Vontae's chance. You got one rush, big dog. Vontae whoops him, beats his man, gets Clark. Clark throws it up in the double coverage and is picked off by Trey Harris. The rookie, strong safety out of USC, Trey Harris, makes a huge play. And it's really because of Vontae Austin getting pressure on the quarterback. But it doesn't really matter because the Washington Commanders finish the deal and win this game. Donald Taylor is the player of the game. 14 carries, 92 rushing yards, two touchdowns, six catches with 44 receiving yards. Pretty impressive stat line for the first round pick. They win 24-21. The game looks closer than what it actually was. But Washington had full control. This game was really never in doubt.
But anyways, it's Reezy, owner of the Reason Sports Network. Make sure y'all like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click on the post notification bell too. If you want to see a similar video to this, then please watch this video right here.